Hi, my friend. I'm Jill, and I'm the Mentor Mom, and today I am talking about one of my favorite topics, parenting styles. Understanding our parenting style and the impact that it can have on our children is one of the most important tools that we can have in our parenting toolbox. So today I'm going to talk about the different parenting styles and what the typical outcomes for children are when we use those different parenting styles. So. Okay, so let's start by talking about the drill sergeant parent. So some characteristics of the drill sergeant parenting style is that they are unresponsive sometimes to their children's emotions. They have strict, strict rules. They have very high expectations for their children and they expect blind obedience from their kids. Now, the associated outcomes with this particular parenting style can include low academic performance, low self-esteem, uh, poor social skills, mental illness, drug and alcohol abuse, and delinquency. So the drill sergeant parenting style is sending an inherent message to their children that they aren't able to handle the world without me telling you how to do it. Now, I want to say about all of these different parenting styles that they come from a place of love. I know you might be like, what? But they do, right? I, I don't know any parent. I mean, I've been doing this for almost 30 years. I don't know any parent who doesn't love their children with every fiber of their soul and want the best for them. But sometimes they don't understand how these particular parenting styles, where their intention is to motivate their children to do well, right? And to make sure that they're successful. They're actually undermining themselves in this case of the drill sergeant parent by telling them what to do all the time. It, it means that their child doesn't have to figure it out on their own, right? Somebody else is telling me what to do. So how does that translate into adulthood when the drill sergeant parent isn't around anymore? Are they going to let other people boss them around and tell them what to do? Are they going to have issues with authority figures, which is a lot of times why we see difficulty with school? You know, it affects their self-esteem. They don't have the confidence that they can go out and be successful without having somebody telling them how to do it. So those are some of the outcomes from that particular parenting style. Let's move on and talk about the helicopter parent. So the helicopter parent's parenting style is warm and responsive, but they have few or no rules for their children. They're often indulgent of their children's wants and desires, and they're often lenient, giving them lots of leeway when they're doing undesirable behaviors or making poor choices. So what does this mean from an outcome standpoint if this is the primary parenting style that one is using? Well, kids who grow up with a helicopter parent typically have very impulsive behaviors they are egocentric and they can have poor social skills, making it difficult for them when they're in relationships and friendships with others. And it can lead to long-term problems with relationships. So let's think about kind of the why behind that, why we would see these behaviors. Well, with the impulsive behaviors, they're not getting those limits. So they don't know like when, when do they mean that I need to stop doing this? They can kind of just go through life doing whatever they want, whenever they want. At least that was their experience growing up the majority of the time. So then when they get out into the real world, which I know people hate hearing, but the real world, uh, those kinds of behaviors aren't socially um, acceptable or respected, right? Coming into the work environment and doing whatever you want instead of doing your work doesn't work very well for being successful at your job or with your coworkers, right? And that kind of egocentric thinking comes from the, the getting what they want all the time. It's, that's not really what happens in the real world. I always tell parents, your children are going to hear no more than they're going to hear yes when they get out the doors of your house. So they need the practice now in learning where the limits are. I'm a firm believer that what we do in our home is helping shape our children's worldview. So if we're allowing our children to run all over us, right, and be the boss in our home, well then that's gonna be their expectation in the classroom, in a work environment, 
And we're really, it's really not fair, right? We're really setting them up for a difficult time. We need to have firm boundaries, firm limits, and we can do that in a loving and caring way to help our children learn how to make good choices when they're out in the real world. That's why I want to talk about the next parenting style, the consultant. So a consultant parent is also warm and responsive, but they have clear rules and they also have very high expectations for their children. They're supportive and encouraging of their children, but they value independence. And really, the other two parenting styles don't really value independence, right? If we try to be independent with a drill sergeant, that's seen as disrespect. If we try to be independent with a helicopter parent, right, then we're not meeting their need to take care of us, right? So we want our children to be independent. That's the greatest gift that we can give them is to have them enter into the real world and have all the tools they need to be able to handle the good, the bad, and the ugly. So some of the outcomes when you're using a consultant parenting style include higher academic performance, higher self-esteem, better social skills, less mental illness, and lower dis delinquency rates. Right? Because the consultant parent is providing support to their child and giving them feedback, but they're not doing it in a way where they're bossing or they're doing it for them. They're allowing their child to make the mistake so that they can learn and grow. Um, I love one of the things that they say in the Love and Logic program, which is let them make their mistakes when the price tag is little, when they're younger, because the price tag gets bigger as they get older. If they can learn from their mistakes when they're young, which they can and they will, you're helping them to build their self-esteem and their confidence that they can handle difficult situations. There's so much more brain power being used in those moments where they have to figure things out. I mean, I can think of some of the things that I've done in my life. I've learned so much more from my mistakes, you know, where you're saying to yourself, I will never do that again. I have learned my lesson. We need to let our kids learn their lessons. And with a drill sergeant parenting style or a helicopter parenting style, we're not giving them the opportunity to learn their lessons. We are stealing away their learning opportunities with those two kinds of parenting styles. So what I really want you to walk away with, right, is to kind of think about what is your style? And a lot of times our style kind of comes from what we were raised in, right? Now, that's not to say that that people don't kind of break the norm there because they can. There can be people who go the opposite way of the way that they were raised. But in general, I think most of us live what we know, right? And what we know is how we were raised. So if you grew up and you had a drill sergeant parent with lots of yelling and bossing, sometimes that is probably the thing that leads to you becoming that drill sergeant parent uh, as a parent yourself, right? Even though we say to ourselves, we're never, never going to do that. We grow up and we do, right? It's like it's programmed in us. So I want you to kind of sit back and think about what is your parenting style, you know, and what can you do to change that, right? You know, do, do you want to stick with that particular style? Is it going to have the outcomes? I'm a, I'm a big believer in thinking about the big picture when our parenting, when we're parenting. Our goal needs to be, again, for our kids when they hit the door at 18 to be able to handle anything that the world has to dish out, the good, the bad, and the ugly. We need to fill them with self-confidence. We have to have their brains thinking and trying to figure out ways to solve their own problems because we're not always gonna be there for them, right? We want them to learn those skills when they're young so that they can be confident and responsible humans out in the world that know how to take care of themselves and care for others. So in a nutshell, those are the three primary parenting styles. So my question for you is, which one are you? Drop your comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. So if you're interested in getting more parenting tips, toddler tips, and strategies for your toolbox sent right to your inbox, make sure you subscribe to my newsletter by clicking the link. All right, you guys, until next time.